Okay, you guys, in this section, we're talking quadric surface. The goal is to recognize and write the equations of quadric surfaces and to graph quadric surfaces by hand. So let's talk about the definition of a, of a quadric surface. A quadric surface is a three-dimensional graph of an equation that can, through appropriate transformations if necessary, be written in one of the following forms, either ax squared plus by squared plus cz squared plus j equals zero, where a, b, c, and j are constants. x and y are the variables. Or ax squared plus by squared plus i times z equals zero. Now, as you'll see, we're going to interchange the roles of x, y, or z, and or z. But basically, um, the equations will look more or less like one of these two. Uh, the intersection of a surface with a plane is called a trace, so cross-section. The intersection of a plane with a surface is called a trace. It would be the cross-section. The trace would be the cross-section of the plane and the surface, the, the curve of intersection. Number three, the traces of quadric surfaces are conic sections, uh, a parabola, an ellipse, or a hyperbola. Okay, so you need to know what those things are in the plane. So let me remind you. A parabola can have an equation like this, y equals ax squared. Now this is if the vertex is at 0, 0. Or, th so that's a parabola that opens which way? Either up or down if a is negative, right? So we're talking a vertically opening parabola here. Sounds like a virus, the parabola virus. Parabola, but it's a shape, right? It's, it's a shape. So it could open if it's, let me use a different color. If it's y equals ax squared, it could open either up or down. Could be a frown. If a is positive, it opens up. If a is negative, it opens down. It's a frown. And either way, we call it either the low point or the high point, the vertex. You, all, you, you know all that. I don't need to tell you that. Uh, the other version, though, is, is uh, x equals a times y squared. And if that's the case, it opens sideways, right? Either to the right if a is positive or to the left if a is negative. Using a traditional xy plane, that is, right? So you all know about the parabola. You all know how to graph a parabola. What about an ellipse? That's one conic section. An ellipse is another. Um, well, we're just going to talk about an ellipse centered at 0, 0. So one equation would look like this. Uh, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. That's really all you need because the only thing that would change if you looked at a different equation is the a squared and the b squared would switch around. The a squared is the bigger number. But you only need to remember that equation. Oh, and then it graphs to be an oval shape, right? Graphs to be an oval shape. And this is centered at 0, 0, right? Th these guys, these, these vertices are at 0, 0. And you have to remember how to graph an ellipse, right? You go out from the center, which in this case is 0, 0, left and right, a distance of A, and up and down, a distance of B. And if it turns out that, that B is bigger than A, we actually switch them around and call B A. But whatever, all you need to know how to do is graph it. And that's, that's how you graph it. It's like graphing a circle, right? You go out left and right A from the center, up and down B, draw the best oval shape you can, you got your ellipse. That's all you need to know. And then, of course, there's the hyperbola. The equation looks, well, I do have to show you both equations here, uh, but they look a lot like the equation of an ellipse. So you, you could have this version, x squared divided by a squared minus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. And remember, that's going to be if it opens horizontally. So you've got one branch opening to the left, one branch opening to the right. Again, I'm, I'm making the center 0, 0 here. OK, 0, 0 for the center. And then the other equation, it does look a little bit different. It's going to be y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared equals 1. And if that's the equation, in other words, if the y squared term is positive, it, opens, it turns out that it opens up or down. 
So you have a, a, a branch opening up, a branch opening down. So you absolutely have to be familiar with how to graph parabolas, ellipses, and hyperbolas to graph quadric surfaces because the traces, the, the traces that you get, in other words, the cross sections that you get, the two-dimensional cross sections of the, three, uh, of, of the surface in three dimensions, turns out to be one of these shapes every time, if it's a quadric surface. 